Topic 15 is linked with, is called loci and it's linked. There are three rules you need to be able to do. The first rule is when it's from a fixed point. And a fixed point is normally represented with a single letter. And for this first example, I'm going to call it A. And when you're drawing a loci of anything a certain distance from a fixed point, it's going to make a circle. So for this particular question here, I'm going to draw a loci of all the points that are four centimeters from A. So what I do is with a compass, I put my compass on zero and open it up to four centimeters. I then would put my compass point on A and draw, using a compass, I turn it around and draw a circle of four. And the questions will say either they're further than four, so it means it's outside the circle, or they're within four centimeters of A, which means it's inside the circle. The second one is two fixed points. And the fixed point is a letter, as we indicated earlier. So this time we're looking at two letters. And they'll normally give you two points, say A and B, which are a certain distance apart. They normally are joined up as well with a straight line. So first thing I'm going to do is join them up with a straight line. When you're finding a loci of all the points that are equal distance from A and B, you draw what is called the perpendicular bisector. And we did this with when we were looking at the last topic. We did this. Okay, and what we actually did is a 90 degree line. So you put your compass point on both letters, B first, making sure your, last, your, your arc goes over halfway across the circle. You then turn your compass around and do the same from A. And where they meet then, you would draw a line down the middle. So each of them points should make 90 degrees. I can check with a protractor. And when I have my protractor on AB, it goes exactly up 90 degrees. And sometimes they say something is closer to A. If it's closer to A, we would shade to the left of the line. If it's closer to B, we would shade to the right of the line. The third rule is the loci of points which are from two lines. So they would give you two lines, and they normally say you'd recognise a line because it's indicated with A, B, and AC. So two lines would be like AB and AC. They could say the points are closer to AB, which means I'd shade in closer to AB. It could be they're closer to AC, so they're below the line, or it could be the line up the middle. So what I'm doing with this one is I put my compass point on A, I open it up, and then from the bottom point, okay, I, I mark with a cross with the arc meets the line and from there I use my compass again to draw another arc. I turn it around and draw an arc and where the two arcs meet I draw a line from A straight up to that point and that splits a line in two. So if it's nearer to AB I would shade above the line but if it was nearer to AC, I'd shade below the line. Let's have a look at the exam question now on page 19. For this question, it talks about find the shade, shade the region of points that satisfy both the following conditions. The points are nearer to B than A. So B and A are two points. So because it's two points, it was rule two that I just showed you, which is called the perpendicular bisector. So if you remember the perpendicular bisector, it's a line straight across the middle that cuts at 90 degrees. So how I draw the perpendicular bisector is I put my compass point on B, open it up over halfway, and over halfway I then draw an arc. I do exactly the same from A, open it up over halfway, all right? Draw a line straight across, and what I'm going to know now, it's nearer to B than A. So because B is below the line, I'm going to be thinking it's going to be down here somewhere. So it could be anywhere, so I'm going to mark on my line that it's going to be this way, so I know I'm shading in down there eventually. The second rule it satisfies is the points are less than 8 centimetres from A. If you remember A, it's one singular point. 